<laughs> oh, it's just fun, man. Fun atmosphere. Reminds me of college, you know, staying up on a packed house. And, uh, I was glad to be here right now. You know, the fans are very supportive. You know, I've been getting our response from day one, how everybody said, oh, the fans are crazy. So I'm just glad to be here and, uh, you know, get a rep, play for Sacramento in front of these, these terrific fans. It's really exciting, you know, our guys are playing together and guys are not selfish. You know, uh, talking to point guards and uh, tell me with sports I like, they ask me what sports I like to score the ball on. So they're very respectful and uh, they're trying to get me open, trying to get me good shots and shots where I feel comfortable in. Willie Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Uh, I just, I just on the bench. I said, I don't know he had that in him. I was talking to him. I said, I don't know he had that in him. I saw him move on baseline and get that in the middle and, and get an one. That's pretty good, you know, for for a guy to showcase his skills. Big for like him. That's pretty good. And uh, something we need, you know. Uh, you know, guys don't tag him. He's wide open in the rim. A little teardrop in the lane. Is that something you've been working on, or is it something you brought with you from the college game? Who well, me? Yeah, the teardrop. Oh, something I've been working on a lot of stuff now. Uh, now I'm just playing free now. Uh, I have nobody. I'm critiquing me or nothing like that. So I'm just here and coach for you. Good to be myself. So it was back to the good old days, playing and having fun. I know it was only one game, but it yeah. seemed, seemed to work out pretty well for all you guys out there tonight. Yeah, for sure. It's just one game, but uh, you know, next game we gotta play together and. Uh, Get good leads on this team, you know. Uh, Ty and uh, Darren and uh, At. So guys come around and uh, we just get to play together and play for each other and just have fun and uh, and uh, try to keep the game close as possible and uh, try to win in the last two minutes or three minutes. What do you see out there? I mean, from tonight and, and where you guys can go as a team. Right now? Oh, I see first game. The first game is hard to tell, but like when we be from playing with these guys for the first time, you know, everybody's unselfish. You know? When you play unselfish, I feel like everything is possible. You know, guys don't worry, but. Uh, who's getting this most shot tub, you know, uh, doesn't matter for the, and this group. You know, once the ball is moving and now uh, once you're playing together, because you have no guy that start him, you know, who's like the high profile player no more. So everybody's equally, and uh, that makes the team better, I feel like. And, uh, just glad to be in the city, and I uh, glad to like showcase what I got. And, uh, you know, while I'm here, I'm just talking, I'm going to give my all, and uh, hopefully it's a long time career here. Did tonight even maybe exceed your expectations the way to, to kind of get going with this team and kind of fit in a little bit? For sure. You know, uh, it's kind of cool to see how the guys really respond to what I was doing. And now they're very, you know, helpful. And, like, guys like Tyler and uh, DC is trying to find ways where I can get open and uh, where I'm comfortable at. And I was telling them, like, you know, it's, you know like, I, I would see the ball here and they say, okay, I got the ball here to you. So it was really good to see guys really help me out there, out there and uh, help me to find my comfort zone here. And you already got initiated. Yeah, yeah. In the locker room. Yeah. What's it called? Was it Kuf, 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 Costa? Costa Kufus. Costa Kufus. Costa Kufus. I'm still calling him Goofus. He uh, <laughs> stole in my boxes and stuff. But uh, he's cool though. Yeah. I'm just buying my extra pair. What, is, what was your just biggest takeaway from just some of these teammates tonight and the fun that it looked like you guys were having? Oh, it was a chill group, high character group that uh, likes to play, and uh, that's what I get from the day one. Like. Fun to get up and down and play for each other, man. They don't care who scores 20 or 30 points. You know, uh, you know Willie, you know, they really is Willie night to night. And uh, Willie was just getting lobs, dunking on people, and uh, protecting the rim. You know, just the team doesn't, doesn't like, you know, if one guy's getting off, they say, oh, it's my turn. You know, just we don't have that type, have that type of person here. How good did it feel just in the light of, look, I mean, you can't turn on the TV without this organization, you know, getting criticized in some type of way? Did it kind of help? You know, feel a little gratifying to get this win tonight and kind of silence it a little bit. Oh, for sure. But uh, you can't worry about uh, what people say, man. People always want to say something, man. That's that's their job, you know, man. They always gonna hate, you know. What I mean, once you win, you shut them up. But uh, you know, but like that's their job. I mean, how, even when you win, they're gonna try to find a way, you know. So uh, I just worry what we gotta worry, uh, what, what we control, and just play basketball and try to win as much games we can and uh, try to get in the playoff hunt. What did you have yeah. some pretty nifty moves tonight? Oh, just if I, if I keep being comfortable like that, yeah, you should expect a lot of things, and uh, where I can go there and just have fun and I uh, be myself. And uh, I'm sure a coach wasn't uh, sorry, but I'm sure a coach wasn't mad at what I was doing. So uh, he's he's a players coach, man. He's chill and uh, he's just fun to be around. So has he given you the uh, green light? Oh, he hasn't given me green light yet, you know. But uh, I'm still a rookie, so I'm still waking, earning my way and uh, earning my respect, you know. But still taking it day by day and learning from the guys and uh, 
watching, I gotta watch them film them all, and I just keep getting better. What did you hear about Sacramento before coming here, and did tonight meet your expectations or exceed them? Everybody said it was a chill town. That's all I heard. It was very chill, and uh, I know it's close to the Bay Area, so I figured it would be fun. So, <laughs> you know, so that's all I know. It's close to the Bay Area, so I figured it would be fun. So I'm out here now, so it's got to be fun. We had Coach Kruger on um, Sacramento Sports Radio, and he had a bunch of great things to say about you. Can you just talk about what he taught you and what you learned at Oklahoma and how that's translated? He better said some good things about me. <laughs> uh, no, that's my guy. Uh, no, man, there's a lot of respect for Coach Kruger, man. He helped mold me with the play I am today. Uh, much respect, you know, he's a mentor, father figure. You know, he called me yesterday, and he's like, don't worry about nothing, man. This, this is a better situation for you, you know. Uh, you know, as much times uh, you know, you, you, you don't want to hear it, but, like, coming from a guy like Coach Kruger, you know, give you self confidence, you know, he just tell me to stick into there and, uh, and just go in there and have fun, you know, uh, to be yourself. And, uh, and I say, Coach, they're about to let me go. He said, like, well, if they let you go, that shouldn't be a hard thing to do because uh, you get good results when they let me go. So, so hearing from being, talking to Coach Kruger day to day or once a month or once every two weeks, three weeks, it's kind of good because he's a really good mentor and a really good father figure, somebody who I can rely on, lean back, on, lean on to. You mentioned your faith a lot yesterday. Is that something that you rely on when things get tough? And you can rely on faith all the time, but like you know, but uh, you just can't forget about God in this situation. Like my mom, my sister, they and like, and they really being like pressing on me, like getting closer to God. Like that's all you need to do is get closer to God because like He only can bring you to this. And uh, you know, they and they said that God has. I haven't seen what God has in store for me yet, you know, so uh, it's kind of scary because you still want to see what he hasn't, what he hasn't planned for me, and uh, I just can't wait to see that, but like, I got to keep trusting and going day to day and walking heavily in my faith, you know, there's a lot of temptation out here, you know, a lot of distractions, so like, you got to like, you know, pick and choose your poison and uh, follow the right path, you know, like going to the broad road, you're still on the narrow road, and me, I focus on the prize, and uh, God would handle everything for you. Hi, I'm Leo Bias. Thanks for watching. It means a lot, guys. If you want the latest news in Sacramento, hit the subscribe button below. I'll be waiting.